Your video is about to begin. Please adjust your volume and get ready for the show. Thank you for choosing DeVita. We are lucky to have you. Getting a kidney transplant is a journey. One of the biggest steps along the way is the transplant evaluation process. The goal is to see if kidney transplant is a safe and helpful option for you. Each transplant center does the evaluation a little differently, but here's how it usually works. First, you may need to contact your transplant center if they don't contact you. Usually, they'll ask you for some information. This may include medical history, a list of medications you take, and more. Your social worker may be able to help collect what you need, so ask them. Next, most transplant centers will schedule you for a full day evaluation appointment. During this full day, you'll go through a number of health tests. Don't worry, you don't have to study for these tests. Your job is to show up for the appointment. Most of the time, the appointment will take place at the hospital. It's a good idea to bring a family member or friend if possible. They can help ask questions and take notes. But why is a whole day needed? Let's look at what's included. At your appointment, you'll get to meet your transplant team. This usually includes your transplant doctor, surgeon, social worker, and more. You'll also get to meet a very special person, your transplant coordinator. They're your guide through the transplant process. If you ever have questions, they're the one to call. After meeting the team, it's usually time for blood tests. These tests look for general health and disease. Also, your doctors will deeply analyze your blood type and chemistry. They use this information to see if potential donor kidneys are a good match for your body. Next up, your transplant team will make sure your body is healthy enough to have a kidney transplant. Some tests you may need include a chest x-ray to check your lungs and airways, a CT scan to see your liver, gallbladder, and kidneys, an EKG to evaluate the activity of your heart, an echocardiogram to see the structure of your heart, a colonoscopy to check for colon cancer, a dental exam to check your teeth, and more. They may also check to see how strong your heart is. To do this, they usually monitor your heart while you ride an exercise bike or walk on a treadmill. Just think of it as your exercise for the day. This test shows how your heart responds when it needs to work hard. After all, getting a transplant can be a workout for your heart. And that's usually it for the day. It can be a little long and tiring, but it can be a rewarding accomplishment. It's a giant leap along your transplant journey. Next, the transplant center will evaluate all of your results. They usually contact you in a month or two with next steps. Until then, talk with your social worker if you have any questions. We're here for you along the journey to transplant.